The FIFA Congress is the top legislative body of global football, where all of FIFA's member associations, from Afghanistan to Zimbabwe, meet once a year to agree on the best way forward for the game. Congress works on a simple principle, one member, one vote, giving each member association an equal say in the governance of the world's most popular sport. Some of the important decisions taken at the FIFA Congress include the host of the FIFA World Cup, new FIFA members, FIFA's budget, changes to the FIFA statutes and reforms, and of course, electing a new FIFA president every four years. The first Congress took place in 1904, the same year that FIFA was created. Just seven members were present at that first meeting on Rue Saint-Honoré in Paris. Congress first took place outside of Europe in 1950, when Rio de Janeiro played host to member associations on the eve of the FIFA World Cup in Brazil. Since 2004, Congress has been held on an annual basis to adapt to the growth of the game around the world. Today, more than 200 member associations take part. Chaired by the FIFA president, Congress is normally hosted by a different member nation each year. But in the year after the World Cup, it returns to FIFA's home city, Zurich, for presidential elections. As part of the agenda, the FIFA administration updates member associations on the progress of their work in areas such as football development, competitions, women's football and finance. Congress is also an opportunity for the FIFA president to address member associations and to explain his or her vision and focus for the future. We have to be proud of FIFA and everyone has to be proud of FIFA and we have to be proud of what we will do together. This year, FIFA's member associations meet in Mexico City, 30 years after the 1986 FIFA World Cup in Mexico. They and the new FIFA Council will focus on the priorities set by new FIFA President Gianni Infantino. Delivering new reforms, improving global football development and engaging the football world. <laughs>